Hi guys. Welcome to this week's mirror reading. Now so many things are happening. The energies are so swirling around and just in the universal flow. The energies of divine masculine and divine feminine are at universe, like they're in the universal flow. And something's happening right now. That's, we did the alignment readings for divine feminine and divine masculine. And really divine's, divine masculine's presence was so connected there. As well as shifting over to divine masculine, that reading was just, it was lit. Like karma three times. The Knight of Cups, the filling of the cup, the creation of love, all the healing. I mean, both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine had uh, the King of Cups. Like, There's just so many things, so many similarities, so many synchronicities I even feel for myself right now, like speeding up. Things are just speeding up. And it's like so many things are happening now on my path and in you know with my people on my three of pentacles that are really saying you know leave the past in the past close out the cycle you need to close out close out the stagnant energies that you need to to close out and really what i really feel like is it's about time to let go of our pain and both sides really we're, we're healing so that we can let go of the pain. Whatever that looks like for all of us. Because it's all different for every single one of us. We all have a different story. We all have something or many things within us that need to be healed. And that's about our journey. And then we are no longer the walking wounded. We've mastered ourselves. We've filled our cups. And now we are able to harmonize. And we literally... Like we literally can harmonize you know, for the collective and with the collective. Now, let's see what's happening. As well as the moon, like the moon, the full moon is in Scorpio and that reading has uh, twin flames all over it. Like I could see the meeting and the creation of the path home from divine masculine, between divine masculine and divine feminine. I could see it within that ace of wands i could see the two lighthouses shining towards each other and like the creation of a path that literally wasn't there before like between a freaking rock like you know that feeling it's like you know what no there's a mountain between us we'll never be together and then you do all this healing and you start restoring repairing mending and you're just feeling good you're feeling in your vibe you have reached the vibration of authentic self you, you're doing what you came here to do. Be that beacon of light. And then, bang! It's like there that mountain's just split into two. And there's the path. Way home. Okay. Now, Devon, I've been called to use very specific decks. Always am for these readings. And this is going to be Divine Feminine Energy. We're going to start with Divine Feminine. Actually, you know what? Or not i'm being called to start with divine well, i'm being guided to start with divine masculine here so let's do that all right page of wands and the king of swords and the feeling i get right now from this card is this is divine masculine inner child you know has found its voice within it's connected to sun energy source energy has done enough healing within it and is like directing um grown up adult divine masculine as to heart centered telling truth and telling truth to continue to heal for that inner child that finally has a voice and that means that Divine Masculine is now connected to the child. And that's connected to creation. And that sword is of the light. And I can feel 
It's a heart-centered pain. It's a heart-centered pain from a bird's eye view. But it's it's being tempered. It's being tempered and allowed to heal because the masculine energy is finding peace. And it's finding peace within. Because I really I really see this. This is the journey within and it's not dark anymore. The, it's day. It's day now. <clears throat> All right. Eight of Pentacles. Right away, I feel this is Divine Feminine. This is Divine Feminine and the work that she's been doing and the work that she's been doing in the void. And it's the connection to divine between divine masculine and divine feminine. And there it's the death and transformation that has to do with this full moon in Scorpio. This full moon in Scorpio is bringing a transformation. Like you know, the phoenix has risen from the ashes. And it's now, I feel like it's a collect, there's, there's a collective of phoenixes out there. This is the wave that I've been channeling for that is so close to getting into alignment. That there is a, a healing truth or meeting that will happen between them. And it's because of what has been created in the void. The hard work. And there's the Emperor. And I see this is Divine Masculine reclaiming his sexual energy and now becoming heart-centered. And I really feel like this is create. I really feel like Divine Masculine It's like connecting to inner child with himself and divine feminine and thinking about that connection and uh, that connection is allowing divine masculine to heal with ch even children in his life his own children it's a deeper connection and it's a deeper connection to what we're creating here and why we're creating here and why you know, the birth of these king, the you know, what we're doing here, new earth, our kingdoms matter. Our heavens on earth. It's like, you know, we've, we're literally doing the work to ascend enough and to have this, this, you know, dance with creation to literally pull our heavens and ground them onto earth and that's and this was about a letting go this had to do with a letting go and i really feel like this is the current energy that divine masculine is in right now it's just the magician and practice the practice of creation and destruction the practice of creating in the void because now like you know the feminine energy balances their masculine side out and has to learn how to use the firepower. And the masculine energy has to use how to use the, you know, the water energy, the cups energy, and really learn how to house their creation, like their firepower. And maybe even, you know, that it needs to be tempered a little bit, cooled off. And I really feel like that's the alchemy here of what the energies are doing and how they're getting to alignment. And this really also has to do with, you know, now there's two flames lit. There's two flames lit. And the, this, the sexual restoration, because we manifest with that. You know, if, if, we're, if it's just lust-based or if we think that, you know, we give our sexual energy away, uh, that's not... You know, this is about divine love and it's created with source and it 
it's a deep connection. It's something we create with and we, we manifest with and it's sacred. All right. Divine Feminine. How's Divine Feminine? Mirian Divine Masculine. And you know, there was a message of sunflowers and I really feel like this is the message, message of sunflowers in the, in the moon reading. There's a connection here and I need to figure it out. Okay. Divine Feminine. Wow, here we go. You know what? I'm going to get one more card and then we're just going to talk about Divine Feminine here, guys. And then this... Oh, no. That's like four more. Then we'll just see how the energies are mirroring. Four more cards again? Well, that's twice now. Okay, we're going to see... Three times, if it happens three times, we're taking the message. No, there it is. Okay. No, I don't look at that like that. Okay. So here with the Page of Wands mirroring, the feminine has the tower. And we know that in the alignment reading, the first card out was the Three of Swords, Heartbreak. And this is the healing from our pain. We have to heal from our pain. Our, and then because our pain is what's, what creates our lower vibrational habits, our energy, our behaviors, right? And we, we want to walk away from that because we don't want to have to feel like we have to self-soothe, right? So that's where toxic behavior comes from. As well as then too, yes, we educate ourselves of what's toxic in our environment and our surroundings and what we put within us. But we we really need to we really need to like start looking of us around what's life force energies and what's value and what sustains. And you know it's really hard. The feminine energy wants to hold on and I feel like like hold on for dear life just because it's hard creating in the dark. I feel like it's hard creating in the dark. It's easier to stay in what we know, but it's like we, it's just like we can't go back there anymore because what is being created here, it's just, I don't know what else to say this. What we're creating is too important. It's just too important. Um, healing and restoring and repairing is what we came here to do. And it's, it's how we pull the heavens down and ground them on the earth. Now, the king of swords mirroring that energy for the feminine is the moon and i really feel like now the feminine is gone within and i really feel like the feminine has is getting very connected to source because now see the feminine has had the three of swords in the tower hit and now it's time to go within because it's time to go within and i feel like it's it's reflection time and You know what? We're going to discuss the meaning of the lobster in this water at the end of the reading. Because I really, really feel like... This is... The way to the new kingdom home. What we're building now, like the only way... The only way is through. The only way through is within. And that that full moon in Scorpio, that's it. The moon and the sun are working together right now to really help this transformation happen. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the feminine, the star. And what I 
see in this cup is the feminine just pouring everything out, all the pain, all the hurt, everything from before, you know, the closing out of this cycle, this tower, like everything before that, the heartbreak and the tower, it's just like, it's just gone. Pour it all out because she understands something. She understands something she couldn't understand before because I can see that this is the connection. The connection is here. It's like what she's working on is actually the connection, the feminine energy between both divine masculine and divine feminine. And it's what's able to even allow the energies to have the bird's eye view, but also the integration of the dark. It's like the acceptance of the dark with the light, the feminine energy. It almost like I feel like allows it allows the, the torch, the light to be even brighter. And there it is, the emperor. There's the ten of cups. And here's the Knight of Swords, and I really feel like this is Divine Masculine rushing in to tell his truth. And there is home. Right? We've made it through from within. And I really, I see right here, there is the meeting and the feminine energy just being ready, like divine feminine just being ready to have that chat with divine masculine or the healing meeting, however the energies are going to um, align to, to have a truth. It's going to be of truth and it's going to be of the light and it's going to be healed, spoken, released, however that is going to happen on your path. And remember, all of our paths are different and unique. So it's all going to happen in a different way and it's all going to happen in our divine timing. But this is because a trans there's been a transformation and I really feel like in these two cards, I can actually feel the death and transformation card. I can actually feel like the scorpion energy. It's like sizzling through my body right now sizzling I'm not sizzling with scorpion energy woo lit over here i love scorpions now let's see why no sorry i can't be putting this on let's see why now okay we're gonna I, I was called to ask very specific things today, so we're going to see what's happening here. Now, we know we're actively on the path. We know something is hidden, and we're going to kind of jump forward and see kind of where we're going to kind of get a little bit more in alignment here. So let's just see what is unknown. What is unknown, Ray? Some new energy in there. What is unknown? All right. Mother of Wands. Now, that's what's unknown. This is what we are where we are actively on the path right now. All right. Wow. We're actively on our way to the Ten of Pentacles. Whoa. Whoa. So now we know we've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. That is the creation of our heavens on earth. There it is. It's grounding them, right? We're going to create them. 
with our cups energy and we're gonna ground them with our ten of pentacles that is it right there Alrighty. Now where we're going and then we're gonna get the messages. Alright, that's where we're going. And that is the King of Pentacles. Alright, let's get the messages so we can tie it all together. Mother of Wands, attractive, domestic, vibrant. The Mother of Wands is a vibrant woman and happy mother. Family comes first in her world. She's very protective of it and she is the dominant parent within the home. Though proud and determined, she has enough grace and beauty that you hardly notice her forceful nature. Oftentimes she has overcome great pain or trauma in her life. It is important not to get on her bad side. And that really is, now we, that speaks to me, we're healing of our pain and that's the Queen of Wands. We're actively healing from our pain. We have that torch lit. This is the next generation. The dogs and the boy and the family will inherit their eternal gifts and all thee will grow to be successful hunters. Wealth satisfaction, not only on the material level, but also in the emotional realm. It symbolizes inheritance, not only of resources, but also of wisdom, experience, family values and beliefs all passed along from generation to generation. The old man is wearing an elegant cloak, which implies wealth, social status and security. The arch is as ancient as the architecture that stands still as one of the strongest long-lasting designs for any building. The structure suggests a permanence and support for their relationship. The emblem of the Ten of Pentacles is shaped in the Kabbalistic tree of life. And the dogs are a symbol of loyalty and faithfulness. And that is, you know, we're, what we're building, the creation of new earth, grounding new earth. And, you know, the Kabbalistic tree of life and we have been discussing that um, on these readings too. the tree of life we've that's what we're creating with here so there is the imagery right there and I really like that you know the dogs are present what I really also like it about this is that's what's in the cups right it's it's mastering ourselves it's it's what we're doing here And in this deck, he's Lord of the Wild and Fertile Land and King of the Spirit of Earth. All right, let's just see what's happening. So that's a leader, a leader of New Earth. So I, I really feel like, let's see what's happening. Close out the reading with a message for the Twin Flames. Thank you guys for joining me. Too many. All right. Maybe this way. Message for the twin. Alrighty. Share your dreams, share your dreams and don't be afraid to share your heart too. The more you love, the bigger your heart gets and the more joy can flow through its chambers. And that's what we're doing here. That's the whole entire point, 
point of healing from our three of swords and our just our pain and and the removal of fear and what's lower vibrational for us because we need to share our dreams and we need to make more room in our hearts and when we become heart centered we are so able to see where we can shift and do that and in a way we didn't even think that we could and that's the gift of healing the gift of healing and you know allowing more light in and raising your awareness and consciousness allows you to see things in a way that you couldn't see before and it allows you you know really that bird's eye view the most beneficial way to actually heal it allows you to go in it allows you to literally go in and to you know to have enough distance to be able to clear the things up that we need to clear up or to literally just detach from them and that's why this is so much of this is about letting go and it's not easy for anybody to let go we don't want to let go it's like it's like not within our human nature but this is part of the evolutionary process and you know what it's like you know somebody who goes to the fast food joint every single day and then recognizes that you know they want to go on a different track they really want to eat life foods and they want to you know start having you know juicing or eating more salads and you know a variety of vegetables or just even you know eating more whole based foods electrolytes right it's just because we are electricity then all of a sudden it's like yeah it was hard at first but you feel better you're healing you see the changes within your whole entire life and that's kind of what like this is about but it's like on an energy level it's it's, it's within it's like about healing and the process of love this this love we came here to create within so it could shine without thank you for joining me here i'll see you again soon take care all right so i've just linked a really great article about the lobster totem animal for anyone who wants to read that below and i think it's really beneficial some extra tidbit of information